G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. If you're looking for that kind of recipe that's just perfect on game day or as a snack during the day, this recipe is perfect. So join me today as I make my version of beer and bacon pecans. Okay, we're going to start this off with a saucepan over the stove on a medium heat. So into the saucepan, I'm going to place in one cup of brown sugar, followed by a teaspoon of salt, a third a cup of your favorite beer, and I'll leave it up to you what type of beer you want to use. And I've got four slices of bacon that I've just roughly chopped up. And I'm just going to give it a quick season just with a little bit of pepper. Okay, so as you can see, it has now been brought up to boil. So now we're going to cook this for a further 10 minutes. That'll help reduce a lot of the liquid, cook out the alcohol, but more importantly, it's going to enhance and combine all those lovely flavors. So it's all nice and infused. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and what you're left with now is a thick syrupy mixture. So, and it smells delicious. You can smell the bacon and you can smell the beer. And the sugar acts like a nice glaze. So lastly, I have about three and a half cups of pecan nuts. So just put that straight into the pot and give it a good mix until everything is nicely coated. And lastly, I've just got an oven tray here and I've just lined it with some Foil. So we're just going to place our pecan nuts onto our tray, just even them out, just like so. Now once all nicely evened out, we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 minutes. And would you look at those delicious beer and bacon pecan nuts. So once they cool down the tray, all I had to do was simply break them up and place them into a bowl. And I really love the texture of these because they're nice and crispy on the outside because they've been glazed with that sugar, but they're also nice and soft in the middle. And you have all those bacon pieces mixed throughout, mixed with that lovely taste of beer. Trust me, these will be a party favorite that'll go fast because they taste simply delish. So make up a batch and I guarantee they will be gone in no time because they taste that good. And you can use your favorite beer. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another mm -mm delicious recipe.